But this is crazy, bro. Like, how did you guys survive? The dangers Gen X face. The title is dangers. So we're going to be seeing what kind of dangers they was facing that we probably didn't have to face. So yeah, before we do jump in this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. I also do have a Patreon if you guys do want to help support further. Link is in the description. Yeah, let's jump into this and check this out. If you grew up as Generation X, then it's probably a miracle you even survived. <laughs> At that least much? that's what the modern world tells us. Okay. Many of the things that were normal back then are now taboo. Right. In this video, we will have a look back and wonder how Gen X kids even survived. Yeah, okay, so it's directly aimed at like Gen X kids then. So when you was a kid during this time. Listen, if you're Gen X, you're gonna have to tell me, is this true? And just tell me like, how did you survive the things that's gonna come up? Television wasn't everything, but it was still pretty important. Right. If you were a kid in the 70s, then you probably did not even have cable. Uh, Most black people white? relied on a television antenna, which was usually rabbit ears and tin foil. However, there were some households that used an antenna that was mounted on top of the roof. You, did you say roof? <laughs> mounted on top of the roof? Um, we actually still have some of these on, on UK homes. <laughs> Every so often, this antenna would need to be adjusted thanks to some wind or weather. Yo, true. This became a family affair. Dad, of course, was in charge of the picture, so he was right in front of the television. <laughs> One of the kids would be up on top of the roof and ready to receive instructions from the relay of the rest of the family spread out from Dad. Wait, 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 wait. He just said kid? Wait, wait, wait. Is, this, is that true? So Dad would be in front of the TV trying to get the picture? And you send the kid on the roof to fix it? Yo, what? No one ever thought anything about kids being on the roof and then falling off. Most kids got up there anyways just to get a better view of the neighborhood or the stars. Okay, no. Nah. newer roofs are much more steep, and that might be considered child abuse to send your kid up there. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing that people don't have to deal with antennas on the roof. <laughs> Summers as a kid were always fun. Yo, is that true? I need to know if you're Gen X, did you ever go to the roof and fix the antenna? And yo, that's crazy, bro. I can't imagine being sent up there, man. That's actually crazy. On the roof. Summers as a kid were always fun, and why wouldn't it be? Okay. You were out of school, and that meant you could spend more time with your friends. You actually went outside? But with all that running around outside, you were bound to get thirsty. Right. There's nothing quicker and more refreshing than a sip from the garden hose. Of course, you had to let it run a while before it got cool enough to drink, but it certainly had a distinctive taste. Wait, no, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What, is this true? You get, you get Generation X kids were drinking from the garden hose? <laughs> is, that, is that true? <laughs> Wait, what? When is the last time that you've seen a kid do this? <laughs> it's Never. supposed to be unhealthy, yet here we are. But occasionally, I still take a sip from the garden hose. <laughs> Bro, what? The garden hose was also connected to a couple other activities that parents today may consider them to be too dangerous. Okay, like what? The first one was the slip and slide. Sounds good. The older editions of the slip and slide were a little bit more dangerous, and some kids broke bones or chipped teeth on these, but just about everyone slid off the end or over the side and got a grass or rock burn. What? Believe it or not, they still sell these, but they are a little bit safer. Oh, is this the slip and slide? Oh, I bet I was hella fun. I, you know what? I bet, I, I bet you lot had so much fun growing up. Like, yeah, you might have got a few knocks, a few broken bones. Maybe you saw Tommy with the with the garden hose, but it seems like you're having a great time. This next item, however, I'm not so sure about. As kids, we all enjoyed playing in the water sprinkler, but What's some that? of these sprinklers oh. could be pretty rough. This one in particular was really dangerous. It had a solid steel base that could certainly hurt if you stubbed a toe on it or mm. fell on it, but that wasn't the dangerous part. When the water ran through the sprinkler, it would move the metal fan blade at the top. At that point, it was like a little saw blade that was spinning fast on top, and it Yo. could cut through little water-soaked toes and feet. Kids were fast learners, though. If they got cut once, they would be sure to clear it the next oh. time. Oh. Kids in our day used to be outside a lot, and we... I love this game. I actually love this game. When you get like a bat and you smack it around and it comes back to... Yeah, I love that game. That game was so fun. He loved it. 
That worked out great. Huh? Kids in our day used to be outside a lot. And <laughs> Yo, end the sentence here, bro. Kids, Generation X kids used to be outside a lot. Boom, end it. Kids nowadays, bro, we just, we just play video games, man. We loved it. That worked out great because most of our parents really didn't want us inside the house anyways. As True. a result, kids spend a lot of time out in the sun. And sun Do you know what I actually miss? And I'm actually glad that like I experienced a little bit. So when I was a kid, right, I'm 27. So when I was a kid, um, I was kind of like in the between of like still going outside. But technology was like getting more and more and more popular, right? So I never, we, we didn't really have phones, but phones were starting to be introduced. But there was a few years where I actually experienced like knocking on for your friends. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro, these kids nowadays, they don't know what that is, bro. Knocking on for your friends and then being told by the mom, like he's not in, he's sick. Yeah, I remember when my friends would be at my door and I'd be like, mom, I'd be like, mom, 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 tell them I'm ill, tell them I'm ill. Because I didn't want to go out. But yeah, that, that was, that, thinking back on it, that was so fun. That was actually so fun. Now, nowadays, you just like text and just see. But yeah, it was fun growing up. I was like in kind of like the middle of it, transforming to technology, being really like really popular. Because when I was like 15, that's when I stopped going outside completely. <laughs> but Jet X, man, I bet you guys had a lot of fun growing up. Block? We had no idea what that was. Are you talking about a hat or a shade tree? What was that? As a result, kids spend a lot of time out in the sun. And sunblock? We had no idea what that was. Yo. Are you talking about a hat or a shade tree? At most, we may have depended on SPF 4, and that's only if we were super cautious. Everyone was exposed to the sun, and Ooh. many of us would compare sunburns at the end of the day. <laughs> what? When our skin started peeling, we would see who could peel off the biggest flake. What? Oh, look, <laughs> that one looks like Texas. <laughs> It also wasn't uncommon to see teen girls and young women laying out and trying to get that golden beach tan. Quite often, they would speed up this process by using either coconut oil or tanning oil. Wait, so you had coconut oil, tanning oil to like get more of a tan, but you didn't really have like sunblock? Today, most kids get lathered up with anything from 30 right. SPF to 100 SPF. Go get that protection. Parents in those days certainly didn't have to watch us like the parents do today. They not only trusted us, but they also trusted our friends and the rest of the community. Right. Parents realized that we needed to do things on our own, and that was how we were going to learn. However, if they were watching and we happened to get hurt, there was no doubt that they were going to be laughing as long as it wasn't <laughs> life-threatening. <laughs> Yo, nowadays they'll be super worried, bro. Bikes were everything to a Gen X kid, and they provided us a freedom that we couldn't get from anything else. Okay. We could go on adventures that were hours away from home, and for the most part, our parents had no idea where we were at. Yo. We also used our bikes to jump some pretty shady ramps. We could do a lot with some plywood and bricks, and it was hours of entertainment. As Crazy we look kids. back on our childhoods and compare it to modern kids, it's hard to believe that we did all those bike adventures with no helmet or knee pads. Mad. This picture pretty well. Bro. <laughs> okay 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 you did this you did this how many people in the comments have done this bro i highly doubt this is popular this is just crazy this is crazy <laughs> sums up the generation this kid is jumping his bike off of a super tall ramp notice that he has no helmet knee pads or elbow pads this is just crazy pure fun adventure the man's at the back just watching this like damn these kids are mental man <laughs> If this evil Knievel lands short, then the kid on the end is in trouble. Mm. Occasionally, that did happen. As you look at the kids on the side, you can tell that they are worried about this because they've seen it happen themselves. But the best part about this photo is there's a dad sitting on the yeah. front steps and he's smoking a cigarette while he's waiting to see who gets hurt first. <laughs> For him, this is as good as any gong show on television. <laughs> Back in those Yo. days, cigarette smoke was everywhere. And bro, that's too funny, man. Wait, this was actually a thing, bro? Like, that was actually a thing? You couldn't avoid secondhand smoke if you wanted to. In fact, most of us had at least one parent that smoked. Right. Parents would send their kids into convenience stores to purchase cigarettes while they waited out in the car. Wait, the kid? Huh? 
kids in most of us had at least one parent that smoked. Parents would send their kids into convenience stores to purchase cigarettes while they waited out in the car. What, well, kids could buy the Usually cigarettes? Usually the clerk would just look out and get a nod from the parent, which would signal that it was okay to buy the cigarettes. What? If the parents were not around, then the kid probably needed a note from the parents saying that it was okay to buy the cigarettes. A note, bro. A note. You could just write the note yourself. These notes were never all that official, and it... Please let my daughter Stacy purchase a pack of guess that said cigarettes. Bro, what? Might be written on a notepad, scratch of paper, or the back of a receipt. Dear clerk, please sell Rhett a carton of cigarettes. Thanks, mom. Can you believe that actually worked? There's no what? chance that kids could ever do that today. Yeah, no way. Car safety was something else that most people didn't take too seriously. Okay. In the U.S., it became mandatory that every car manufactured after 1968 had to have seatbelts installed in them. But did they have seatbelts? wearing them was more of a recommendation rather than a requirement until the mid-1980s. Oh, this is mad, bro. This is mad. Gen X, what the hell? Yo, 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 yo. Like, hey, bro, we're, we're, we're just past halfway. I'm watching this. I'm thinking, like... How on earth are we, like, terrified to do things when we was kids or, like, the kids now when you lot survived doing this? Like, what? Until then, we stood up on the front seat so that we could see up over the dash and our dad's arm was our seatbelt and the airbag. <laughs> Another thing that we would do is lay up on the back dash and pick our noses as we looked at the cop car behind us. What? We thought it was super fun when dad had a slam on the brakes and we came flying out of that back window and slammed into the back of the front seat. Back then, we had to learn how to take a fall. And the crazy thing about it is we couldn't wait to get back up there and try it again. What? Yo, I can imagine being a kid that would be super fun. But this is, this is crazy, bro. Pickup trucks were not as common as what you see today. Okay. People that had boats would haul them with regular cars, even Cadillacs. And when dad needed lumber, it was going on the roof of the car so that it could come home. Right. He would tie it down a little, but it was still our job to help hold the lumber down as it was stacked on the roof. How? So there we were, standing up on the seat, halfway out the window, clinging to the lumber on top, while Dad had his hand on our waistband to keep us from falling out. Somehow yeah. his other hand was busy holding down the lumber on his side, which is pretty incredible to think about. How was he driving? At the same time, he was also steering the car, shifting gears, and smoking a cigarette. Bro, wait, you're telling me in Gen X the parents had like eight arms? What, what is going on, man? It's no wonder that we thought he could do anything. How? Remember some of the other activities we did? We all had toys that are considered dangerous now, but back then it was completely normal. Yeah, so many toys Long have been was one of those toys. Wait, what? Back then it was completely normal. Lawn darts was one of those toys. That weighted sharp point could penetrate anything if you didn't get the heck out of the way. Huh? Clackers, click clacks, or knockers had the possibility of shattering and sending shards of plastic flying through the air like shrapnel. What? Yet somehow, some of these clackers survived. In fact, here is my pair from the 70s. No way. Back then, we learned how to entertain ourselves with the simplest of things. What is that? Remember making long chains from soda and beer can pull tabs? According to what they say today, we could have been badly cut at any moment, yet most of us had minor cuts, if any. But what Yo, was you guys just built different in Gen X? Like, did you have, like, thicker skin? Like, bro, this is mad. One dangerous activity that we all did was kite fighting. Remember this one? What's kite fighting? You would fasten razor blades to the side of your kite and then swoop it down so that you could cut the string of your friend's kite. That sounds if sick. If you were successful, then that kite would keep flying forever. But if your kite took a nosedive to the ground, then you better be quick and get out of the way of those razor blades. <laughs> BB guns were another item that was quite common. Okay, yeah, I had a few BB guns. I did, I, see, I, I haven't done much of this, bro. This video has gone crazy. Right? 
But BB guns? I'd BB guns. Kids could go all over town with one on the front of their handlebars, and the BB wars would certainly get intense. Back then, we definitely did not have safety at the top of our list when those broke out. <laughs> Yo, I remember, bro, I had, like, a BB gun fight on the street. I was only a kid. I was only young. And we had a BB gun fight. And I I went to shoot my friend. And I accidentally shot, like, a girl walking by. Another kid, right? She was, like, far away. But the bullet hit her. And she ran off crying. And then, her, like, I'm only small. Her big, like, six foot five dad came around the corner. Came up to me. Snap my gun. Yo, I was so scared, bro. I was so scared. Firecrackers were certainly a lot more accessible than they are today. It seemed like you could pop them off in every city and it was perfectly legal. Did this you ever mad. set off some fireworks and then place them into your Tonka truck and roll it into the driveway where some neighborhood girls were playing jacks so that you could get their attention? What? No, well, I guess that was just me then. What? Speaking of jacks, they were definitely something painful to step on if you were barefoot. Any parent today that complains about a Lego being stepped on has probably never really stepped on a jacks. What? These things would completely hide in the shag carpet and they were like little soldiers that were waiting to ambush you. This is mad. With all that time that you spent on the bicycle, then I'm sure that you probably came in contact with at least one of these. Okay, yeah, I've had this before the metal pedal things and like sometimes it would just flick straight into your ankle oh one slip of the foot and this pedal could travel up your leg like a vegetable peeler kids today know nothing about that level of pain here is something else that could be really painful these chairs were really comfortable to lay in but when right. you got up you had lines going all across your skin how come? But that wasn't the worst part. It's because of the stripes. They were not the easiest to adjust. You had to bend them all the way in so that you could adjust them further out. Huh? One wrong move and the hinges of these torture devices could snap down on you like a bear trap and take off a chunk of skin. Oh! Are these chairs even sold today? Oh, what? Despite all the dangers that were lurking all around us, it really was a special time to grow up in. I can imagine. People were friendly and neighbors were someone that you could count on. Some of the dangers that we see today are completely different than what we faced. Yo, Generation X people, right? They must think that the the kids and the, the people below them, uh, the generation, like whatever below them, are just wimps, bro. Are just wimps. Because this is meant, like, yeah, don't get me wrong. It seemed like you had a lot of fun. But this is crazy, bro. Like, how did you guys survive? Do you have any special memories that you would like to That's share? That's mad. If you are Gen X, you guys got to let me know what it was like for you in the comment section. Really interested to check it out. You guys definitely seem to have a fun time, but a very, very dangerous time. But yeah, that was crazy, bro. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. Really fun video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I do have a Patreon where I'm posting extra content too. Link is in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.